In 30 days, our country will pause to celebrate and thank the millions of Americans who have worn the uniform of the United States. As we approach Veterans Day, we should ask ourselves if this Congress is doing all that can be done for our veterans. This bill maintains our promise not only to the men and women who have served in the armed forces, but to their families as well. Out of concern that some families of veterans were being excluded from benefits that common sense would dictate that they be eligible for, I authored H.R. 120, the Disabled Veterans Spouses Home Loans Act. It is only right that these surviving spouses be eligible to receive the VA Home Loan Guarantee, even though the veterans' deaths are not identified as service-connected because such veterans had permanent and total service-connected disabilities for at least 10 years immediately preceding their deaths. H.R. 120 has been endorsed by the disabled American veterans who agree that this legislation is long overdue. The legislation has also been endorsed by the 2.1 million members of the Veterans of Foreign Wars who believe that allowing a military widow to utilize the VA home loan program is the right thing to do. This legislation rightfully gives disabled veterans the peace of mind that their surviving spouses will be able to benefit from the VA home loan guarantee after their death. These veterans and their families have sacrificed so that others may live freely, and for that they deserve to be eligible for this benefit. Again, I thank Chairman Miller for including H.R. 120 as part of H.R. 2433 and for the great work that the committee is doing on behalf of America's veterans. On behalf of our veterans, I urge my colleagues to support this legislation and yield back the balance of my time.